here's how you price out drainage. You come up to a house and they need to run a drain line down this to the backyard. So here's how we're gonna do it. There's already an existing drain line as you can see here that we ran. So, but I'm gonna show you as an example. Okay, so you start at the street. Come over here, cameraman. Don't worry about being super steady and stuff. Just, just follow me. So, so I'm gonna pace it. Again, since um, this is my finish point, I'm gonna start my foot here on the curb and then just walk. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 5, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31. 31 paces to here, uh, so I just need to keep track of that. Now there's a gutter here, so I'm going to want to make sure that I that I take off of here and I just take over one, two more steps that way. And there's a gutter up here that we're going to catch as well too. Again, you can use multiple different forms of your body. If you've done that first video, you'll know this is approximately six feet. So I know I'm, I'm around five to six feet here for this distance back to here. Okay. Okay, now we're in the backyard. So we're gonna continue the drain line to the back. Now, hopefully you've already assessed where the drain line needs to go. And again, at this point, you're using your best estimate as to what the low points are. When we actually shoot the elevations, our team will be able to say, yes, you did a good job, or no, we need to make some adjustments. As long as there's not a significant increase in pipe, we're all good. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna run a drain line into the backyard, and then I've got multiple gutter tie-outs. My furthest one is on the back corner of the garage. That's where I need to make sure that I, that I run my final drain to. Uh, again, trying to do your best to walk in straight lines and then use 45s. Don't just curve. The, the drain pipe cannot curve like a, like a hose can. It needs to go straight and then 45 over and then straight. So uh, I was at 31 steps in the front plus the additional 12 feet that I had for the side reins. Now I'm in the backyard. I'm going to continue on here. So uh, 132. Okay, I'm at 49 there, and I'm going to pick up right back here where this play gym is at. 50, 51, 63 steps to right there. Now I'm also need to, going to need to run another tie-in over to here. So I'm going to go back to where my main trunk line is. What our team is gonna do is pretty much as soon as it gets into the backyard, they're gonna use a Y and they're gonna head over to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna to try to stay away from this tree as much as possible. So 21, a total of 85 steps. Now, if you're doing drain lines, I highly, highly recommend, it'll be way easier for you to keep track if you use the rolling wheel. That'll make sure you've got a super accurate measurement and that you don't have to keep track of all the different distances that you're doing or unless you're writing it down. So it's as simple as from here, there'll be another training video on how to estimate this, but it's as simple as running that distance. If I have any large catch basins that I need to put in, I add those up, but doing my overall pace times the price, which right now we're charging $22 a linear foot, times all that pacing right there, and there you go, there's your price. So.